Well, it's housing we all pay for, but most of us will never see unless we fall on hard times. Today, city councilors toured several t several Tulsa Housing Authority properties. Two works for you reporter Joe Hinkey joined them in the tour and is live with the condition of the properties. Joe. Well, Brian, city councilors toured three of the 16 Housing Authority uh, sites throughout Tulsa, including Riverview Apartments here behind me. One of the main takeaways, the Housing Authority continues to help thousands of Tulsans in need despite recent federal budget cuts. Now, the uh, city councilors today on the tour, uh, I went along with them. We learned about housing and services provided at Seminole Hills, La Fortune Tower, and Riverview. Housing Authority data shows it maintains nearly 2,900 housing units on a $50 million budget, and it's funded federally by housing and urban development. But I'm told because of federal budget sequestration over recent years, the Housing Authority is being forced to do more with less. We haven't received 100% funding in several years now. So we're still not back, you know, from the recession, but a lot of people aren't. Now, despite the cuts, the Tulsa Housing Authority continues to provide valuable programs to Tulsa families from after school educational opportunities for children to food assistance. And city leaders today tell me right now the Housing Authority is uh, improving security at all of its properties. I'll give you a look at how they're doing that coming up at six and also let you know what continues to be the number one need for a lot of people who are living in Housing Authority uh, properties right now in Tulsa. Reporting live in West Tulsa, Joe Henke, two works for you.